So now that we understand request and response, we can now create a URL pattern to actually send the request to where it needs to go. Uh, so in our case, we want to see a place for posts. So if you open up urls.py, you're going to go ahead and copy this right here, paste it right below, and we're going to change admin to being posts. All right, so we'll talk about this regular expression stuff later, but for now, we'll just leave it as this. And I'm just going to add one thing to it, and that's a dollar sign at the very end. Uh, again, I'll talk about that later, so don't worry about it quite yet. But now that we've got this posts URL, let's actually go to that, and we'll just come in here and say posts. Notice the Django admin is showing up because we have it mapped to the Django admin, right? It's mapped to admin.site.urls. Well, we want it to be mapped to our function that we just created, which was posts home, right? This is the function that we actually want to use. We don't want to use admin.site.urls. We want to use posts.views, posts.views.postshome. So let's go ahead and write that. I'm just going to write posts.views.posthome. Now post would we refer to the app posts, views to views.py, and then post home. I'm going to try this, see what happens. Save it, refresh in here. It's not showing up. Go into the terminal, and it'll say posts is not defined. So we did define the path to it, but we actually didn't show how to get there. So if I turn this into a string, still that same path. Um, the errors go away. We refresh in here. And now it's saying that it can't import post home. Um, and it, it, we'll get back to that in just a second. So that's one way on how to do it. Um, so this is a direct path to it. So it takes the app name. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to copy this and show you. So it goes app name, views. So the view function or the view itself, the view module itself. And then we'll do function name. All right. And I'm going to comment that out. So in this case, function name would be incorrect. If we go back in here, it's posts home. So it's plural. So we change that back to that. But actually, I'm going to leave it as post home. Okay, so URLs post home, there we go. We refresh in here. And now it's responding with hello. All right, so it's returning that data. Cool. So that's very, very simple as far as how it's set up. There is another way, as it says in this example right here, it does show another way on how to do this. And that is choose an import from my app import views. So what we could do is from posts import views. And then we could change this to being, I'm just going to copy that and just remove this. And you can change this to being views.post home. Right, you absolutely could do it this way, except if you start having other views, so let's say for instance, from um, uh, let's say users, or let's say analytics, or let's say contact form, or just any other views, as soon as you say, or any other app, as soon as you say import views, then you start getting some problems here. So I much prefer writing this method out completely itself um, for function-based views. You wanna write directly where it's going versus importing the entire view folder or excuse me the entire view module so um, i don't i'm not exactly sure why that they decided to go that method but they did uh, another thing that you could do if you actually ran into this problem is you could say as contact view and then that would solve it as post view that would solve it to some degree but again i think this is cleaner and it also doesn't take as many lines so in case you had a question about that. Class-based views are different. Post or function-based views, that's how I think that you should do it. Um, and then you might be wondering like, oh, what's this name stuff? We will get into that, so don't you worry. All right, so that's it for mapping our URLs, our first URLs. It's not really that complicated, but I did want to mention one last thing before we went, and that is this regular expression stuff. So if you go to joincfe.com slash GitHub, you're going to go to our GitHub page and you're going to click on guides. So you're going to go into this repository and there's this guide that we have for common your regular expression for Django URLs. So these URLs are what we're talking about here. Now we're going to go into some of these things as we build our site a little bit more. But the thing here is these are regular expressions, Python regular expressions that are going to be matching our URL patterns here. So all I said here was once it gets to posts, 
anything beyond that, it's not related to this pattern, which that's not gonna make a whole lot of sense until we do more of it. But I did wanna mention this common regular expressions page so you can play around with stuff if you um, are so inclined. Now, take no note of how URL patterns is written. It's virtually the same, just slightly different based on the version. Um, all right, so if you have any questions on um, mapping your URLs to a specific view, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.